Do you experience symptoms such as bloating, nausea, cramps and eczema after consuming dairy? You could be lactose intolerant. Be free, lactose free with the milk, mass and dairy snack from Nolac. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to the kitchen where Dumi is about to lead us to the promised land. Into the promised land we go. The holidays are a good time to enjoy some of our favorite and delicious food. Fried chicken is probably at the top of our list. But if you have a jar of masala spice that's been of no use to you, you might want to try our no luck masala fried chicken recipe for a flavorsome and spicy feast. Ever thought of masala and, spice and fried chicken? I think yes, but not on purpose. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is putting a different kind of a twist on it because normally fried chicken has those basic spices, paprika, cayenne, none of that. But now we're putting masala into it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do the dry part of our batter. I'm going to be doing the wet part of our mix. So okay. the batter, obviously we've got some chicken because it's fried chicken. We've got the chicken over here, some lemon juice. I've got some garam masala. I've got some cayenne pepper. I've got some turmeric. I've also got some garlic and ginger that's been chopped up. So all of this is going to go together into our batter and then we're going to mix it together and let it sit for a bit of uh, time. But you're going to be mixing the dry ingredients for us Delicious. over there. Delicious. Okay, so wet ingredients, check. Dry ingredients, <laughs> we have got just plain old regular flour. Mm -hmm. Then we've got some cornstarch. Just to mirror that heat that Dumi is giving us yes. on that side, we've got some paprika and chili powder, chili spice as well. Then we also have some lemon and herb spice and also again the garam masala and coriander. Correct. So pepper as normal so I'm all gonna mix that in as well mm -hmm. and then when Dumi is done with the chicken on the wet station it goes into the dry station Correct. before we fry it on up that is very true so I've mixed up the spices here and the garam masala with the ginger and the garlic and then we're going in with our hero today Amas no mm. like mass. So what we're doing here is we're put, taking it up a notch. Normally you would use buttermilk and so forth. It basically serves the same purpose because it's got that tanginess. And like we always say, when you're using something tangy like that, it actually helps with tenderizing your meat. So most people would want to tenderize it overnight. Um, that actually works. Okay. But this is a quick and easy way to get the flavor that you need from your, from your chicken. So all I'm doing now, just mixing up all our flavors here, making sure we've got a nice thick consistency, a nice saucy arrangement over here. But here's a way to re-up when it comes to the mass, making sure that those that are lactose intolerant are also taken care of with that no lac Correct. or lactose intolerant individuals that suffer from those symptoms. Correct. It's been treated with an enzyme called lactase, which makes it more digestible for people who suffer from lactose intolerance. Okay. And it also is enforced with more uh, vitamins and calcium in it, which makes it so the people that actually lack all these vitamins and minerals, you don't have to worry about it because it actually has been treated in a way that you can still get all those nutrients that you need. Nice. I love that. It so. seems like we're ticking the boxes here. I mean, fried chicken, who fried chicken always wins. It's, it's a winner, <laughs> winner, winner chicken dinner. All but, day, every day. But it's also very important important to remember for those at home who might not be uh, meat eaters or might not like chicken and just want an alternative mm -hmm. I think that you have to make two separate flour batters Correct. so that you don't cross contaminate yeah. the chicken and the fish or whatever other protein you want to use and you could actually repeat this recipe on any other uh, ingredient I mean imagine cauliflower steaks that you could make mm. for anyone that's vegetarian you could do that as well you know because then you basically get the same flavors that get absorbed into your cauliflower and I'd suggest for most people if you're going to be using that perhaps for a, a steak uh, um, like we said a cauliflower steak mm. marinate it overnight as well people don't think marinating veggies is a thing Marinate your veggies overnight so the flavors get absorbed and then cook it the following day. I love the fact that you're teaching me how to take it up a notch always. Because that's another thing. A lot of people tend to be forgotten when it comes to veggies. So yes, we're making chicken today. Tomorrow we could be making steak. You could actually replicate those flavors with any vegetable. Okay, help us again when it comes to the clover no lack. If we do have some vegetarian um, viewers right now, how will they be able to incorporate especially the mass within their diet and their Christmas table well like we said it's not vegan it is vegetarian so some people still use the milk products and cheese and dairy snacks like mm. that so you could still use it in your in your recipe that way and then obviously use it on veggies and stuff like that um, so I'm gonna take these out because they're already starting to look nice and golden brown delicious oh yes that looks amazing 
And then I just want to show you what we're dressing it up, what we're serving it up with. So we're making these beautiful chicken breasts. Obviously, if you'd like to cook it longer, you can. You can cook it uh, in the oven once it's golden brown. Mm -hmm. Or basically, you can, yeah, once it's cooked, basically, we need to know that chicken must be cooked coolly. Once it's cooked, we basically serve it up with a nice, I've got a nice little pine, uh, mango salsa that we got over here. And this mango salsa basically has some coriander, some red onion, and some mango, salt and pepper. You could add a bit of lemon juice. And that is basically a light, delicious, if you're trying to not make too much of a feast that's too, too time consuming, Ooh, yeah. this is a perfect recipe for anyone that is lactose intolerant to enjoy with their families. Thank you so much, Gumza. <laughs> Thank you, Pali. And to get your hands on this recipe, head on over to afternoonexpress.co.za. Do you experience symptoms such as bloating, nausea, cramps and eczema after consuming dairy? You could be lactose intolerant. Be free, lactose free with the milk, moss and dairy snack from Nolac. Made with love by Clover.